What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have some unfortunate news for you, but it is a bit of an injury update, and it starts with Corey Seager being diagnosed with a grade two hamstring strain, and he will need at least four weeks until he's back. Just super devastating for the team. Not that they're not going to be able to perform for the next month, but, you know, he's the main guy. He started this whole rebuild for Texas pretty much him and Marcus Simeon so we'll see who else is able to step up in his presence I know for starters um, they will have Leo de Tavares back which is huge because he was doing pretty well you know towards the end of last year and things were on the upswing for him so he's gonna be good for that defense in the outfield too which has been struggling a little bit so far this year um, and this was just the Rangers officially announcing that, which I didn't even retweet it, so I need to put that on my feed. Uh, but the last bit here comes from Sean McFarland, who works for the Dallas News, and it, he mentioned that Chris Young said Josh Smith will probably play more shortstop than Ezekiel Duran with Seager being out, and he's number two, taking the number two spot in the lineup against Kansas City tonight as well as seeing Tavares back in center accompanied by Robbie Grossman and Adolis Garcia so this lineup here is probably looking a little more familiar of what you'll see in the coming months um, with the exception of Sandy Leone he is filling in for Mitch Garver who is on the IL as well I forgot what his injury was but he was placed on the 10 day IL so you'll probably see some combination of this lineup with uh, either Heim catching or they might put him at DH, you know, give Miller the day off. So lots of different things they can do, especially with Travis Jankowski doing pretty well so far this season. So really sucks to see any player get injured, but especially the main guy being Corey Seager. So, you know, these four weeks are going to fly by, and I just hope that they can – maintain something close to the level of play that they've been in. I'm not expecting them to maintain a 600 winning percentage over the next month. I mean, you never know. They're at 636 right now, 7 and 4 on the season, but at least stay around 500, you know, even if it's exactly at it or just a game or two above it, that would be that'd be great. So, just a quick update video for y'all. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments below um, but it's been proven already in the short season that multiple people are going to step up and step in when help is needed and they could use all the help they need right now so yeah with that being said I will talk to y'all later